What's up with you? Yeah, I'm good. How you? 50 cent. Dollar. <laughs> I think it's probably worth about that. Nah, especially not this. No, not that. Like, That's the Galaxy? Huh? That's the Galaxy? Nah, no 20. Yeah. yeah. Can't hide it. Can't hide it. So, Steve, hey, man. How big, oh, go ahead, go ahead. How, how big was the stop for your first defense there to, you know, get off the field when, you know, y'all needed it in that game there? Defense definitely, we definitely stepped up. We took a step, and uh, it felt amazing, you know, celebrating after, you know, after the game, but also after watching, you know, the tape, we get to see the stuff that we still need to get better at, but also, uh, you know, we get to see that we, we did take a step, and we, you know, we, we heading in the right direction. If you talk about or discuss the coordination of the pass rush, uh, Dante was able to get home there. Greg had a swim moves up, up in there. Yeah. It's like, you know, y'all make progress in that area. Yeah, so the, the play was set up for Dante. We said everybody just move out the way, and Dante go get him. No, nah, but um, <laughs> no, nah, but all seriousness though, uh, it was a great effort by him. It was, we all had, you know, one on one rushes, and and he was able to get there with just great effort coming in fresh. Uh, Grady was just he was doing doing Gradyish stuff the whole day, and um, you know, it's a, it's a tremendous effort for from those guys and the rest of us around me to step up and play our part as well. No, no, no. I'm just playing. I don't know. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that answer. <laughs> are, you are you surprised at kind of what your role has been? Um, no, you know, they asked me, you know, I, I was told early on, um, and like, I just come in and work. So whatever that role would be, uh, whether it's outside, inside, over the center, whatever the case, off the ball, um, I'm a versatile guy and I can, I can kind of do a lot of, so I'll be able to take it on mentally. Yeah, by far. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, how do you, did you know that? Like, did you have to prep differently going into this year because of that? No, nah, I don't think I had to do nothing uh, extra myself. I think a lot of the conditioning um, from, from our program, you know, is definitely helping me stay in shape uh, while I'm out there. It's like I'm thinking to myself, like, I, I would normally be tired, but I'm not really as exhausted as I normally would be. So I could tell that, that all the conditioning paying off. Um, I don't want to talk too much more about conditioning because we might have to run more. So, <laughs> Does Dean ask you to do more than other systems have? Does Dean's system ask you to line up different places and do more than other systems have? Yeah, I think just by scheme, uh, it's a multiple front. And, you know, we got a lot of different fronts going in. A lot a lot more to it than what the surface sees. Um, so definitely uh, moving around more. Yeah, it's way more than I have in the past. But I've been with Dean and Ted before, so I'm, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, um, I think it could take a toll on you if you're not if you don't really dive into it. So for me, it's a lot of extra, um, a lot of extra studying, a lot of extra questions, uh, taking notes while I'm also like marking down questions while I'm taking notes in the um, study room, and then going to the coaches after they already explained it just to get a little bit more detail. So I'm making sure I don't do it the wrong way, and uh, learning from my mistakes on the field, whether it's at practice or even in some games, uh, learning from you know the ways in which I got to drop uh, certain stuff like that, just fine-tuning those details so that way the next time I'm out there, I'm able to execute at a high level. Is there a moment that you remember that the concept of it, kind of the underlying concept, clicked for you, or is it just always a gradual process of building? Yeah, I think they do a good job with, with doing um, the concepts. It's concept-based. So a lot of the stuff, it looked like it's, you know, I can't give away the secrets, but it looked like a lot, and when you when you really break it down, it's, it's uh. It's a lot easier once you understand the, 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 the concepts behind it. So you'll say, okay, this is one thing. And then when you, you might call a whole other defense and, okay, it's the same as this one except for these two people doing a different thing. And it's like that all around the structure of the whole defense. So once you kind of bracket them up into different concepts and categories, you can kind of like take a lot more of a load off of your body. You'd be like, okay, this call is just like this call for me. It might be different for the back end, but for me, this call is the same. Yeah, I always, um, if I don't understand it, I want to ask it because I'm, 
I hate getting stuff wrong on the field. Uh, I take pride in that. So I definitely, uh, you know, been asking, but been a lot more questions uh, this year than than, than past years, though. Did you recognize that? Was that something you recognized like, during OTAs or like the first second day of camp? Um. Wow. Because then Dean said like he's a Baltimore, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So no, at first, at first it was just it was just all like you know familiarizing myself with it and learning it the same way I always do, but just like coming in and saying, okay, I gotta. I feel like I think I know what I'm doing here, but let me go ask and then, you know, just make sure I clarify it and stuff like that. So, yeah. Steven, you're like the second week in the row where multiple guys have gotten a sack. You know, we all know that sacks come in bunches. Do right. you kind of feel like y'all on that streak or do y'all have anything with, within the group to say, hey, man, we got to do what we got to do to keep the streak going? Uh, we've been doing a lot more diving into it uh, collectively as a group um, after, you know, after hours. So I think that's that's definitely helping in a big way with uh, getting home and getting to the quarterback and even guys like me who win in rushes and getting close. Um, it's, it's just helping, you know, the camaraderie of the whole group. We do a lot of extra stuff together, so I think that's what I think that's something big that we've been doing different. I know that you talked about after week one was, was the importance of, ha- you know, when you're talking about pressure, there are a lot of times where you tend to overlook the escape of the quarterback and making sure that right. you have somebody on that other side. I mean, how do you feel like since – Week one, y'all have been able to kind of like make sure that you have somebody there. <laughs> um, besides from you know getting cussed out. Uh, there you go. No, no, no. But um, I think it's been like us. We're really evaluating ourselves, watching the film. You know, we we think, okay, I got this guy. If I make a, you know, I've been setting him up outside all day. Now I'm gonna go inside, and then that one time you go inside, it costs the whole team. Co quarterback able to roll out, make throws where he comfortable. He comfortable making throws in seven on seven space. Um, so it's, it's real it's real important for us to stick to the game plan. Uh, don't take those rushes when it's not your time. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a time in the game where you can make certain different rushes that you like and there's gonna be some times where you gotta sacrifice for the team and you know the, the defense is structure where it might even run into you while you just you know sacrificing for the team and so that's we gotta just build a a, a trust and that's what we've been doing lately. I, I like that you said like building a trust because when it comes to I think that pressure that's something that people don't think often of. Yeah. Like, hey, we have to trust that like exactly. you know, it's not gonna be Right. Rush that's gonna get get the guy. A lot yeah. of times it's about a second time. So for that, can you kind of speak a little bit more more to that trust that you gotta trust the other guy on the other side? Yeah, I think um when you come in on Monday and we gotta watch the film and you see a guy win a rush and um you got you got somebody who might not have uh done their job the right way that they, that it was drawn up and if they would have that guy would have got a sack. If it's me or if it's you, you feel you will feel like dang I, I let I let him down. So next time, let me make sure I don't let nobody else down. Or I want to make sure this guy get his sack the next time. And that way to, I'll be able to get mine when mine come. And we all start taking on that accountability and responsibility. And we take on that role for each other. Dan, do you feel like there's a newfound energy with the team after you get a win? Do you feel like you guys are finally getting comfortable with the new coaches and with the team? Um, I think it was a matter of time because we've been striding and training in that direction. Um, you know, the Eagles was a tough loss for us. And, you know, we've been building ever since then and just, you know, staying with that tunnel vision mindset really helped uh, not allowing all the outside noise to get in and just trying to really, like, build on the same thing that we've been working on since OTAs when we first got here. And, uh, you know, that's starting to pay off, and we just want to keep taking more and more strides and more steps and kind of, you know, get another one. We just need one more. And specifically talk about the Eagles. Is that the one that really bothers you so much so far? Oh, me to the core. Yeah, me to the core. I'm, I, I came from there, so I definitely wanted that one. But, you know, maybe we get to see him again. You mentioned taking notes in meetings. Was yeah. A guy, former teammate or a former coach who instilled the importance of that to you? Uh, or is that something you picked up naturally? Yeah, I, since college I, I was doing it, but I, I think I kind of like structured my notes a lot more ever since coming from um, and being in Tampa with uh, Gerald McCoy and then going to Baltimore with Terrell Suggs and Elvis Dumerville, uh, being around Brandon Graham in Philly. Kind of just like seeing the older guys do it and then, you know, kind of like taking after that. And then I implement my own mindset. I might not write down everything the coach say. I got to simply, I got to break it down for me and write down what applied to me. So stuff like that kind of helped me uh, understand it more when I'm going over it. I'm not reading over the stuff that I have no, you know, involvement in. I'm not looking at coverages on the back end when I'm supposed to be looking at stuff that I'm going through up front. So. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. Uh, I just type on the iPad that we, that we provided. Yep. Do you have a keyboard too, or you guys just type on the screen? 
Nah, no, you got to buy your own keyboard. So I just type on the screen. I might use my little pen to take, take some notes in there. But you're the one person who knows how to write, write with like, those pens. Nah, there's a lot of people that write with them. I'm really just like slowly <laughs> typing, trying to, trying to get the words in. Yeah. But something that really struck out stuck out to me during training camp was it felt like after every single practice it was you and Otto yeah. working for 15, 20 extra minutes every single day. And right. What can you kind of say about where he is in his you know, first year in the league? Man, uh, he's taking big steps. He's taking quantum leaps, and, and I'm happy to see it. A uh, guy who I, I knew, like, you know, guys took me under, under their wing when I was younger too. So, it was, you know, just extending that same concept. Uh, extending that same hand to him, he willingly wanting to learn. Um, he gonna be good when he gonna be good when he he learn a couple of things. He gonna be he gonna be a pretty good player in this league. What what are kind of some of the things that really make you feel that way? Like what are some things that he does that you're just like you know what this when he really hones into this? Yeah, he's gonna get where he wants to go. So he a longer guy, right? right. By yeah. by nature, and um, I, I haven't really seen too many guys come in young that's able to that's already know their length and play with it and use it. And that's something that's his, his strength right now. So anything after that is going to make him better. But he already know how to use his length. He already using his hands to keep blockers off of him, and that's to his advantage. So that's, like, one of the things that me, myself, a lot of people who I've seen coming up, they might have those traits but just don't use them and don't know how to use them coming from college where you got natural raw ability. They're able to just dominate guys, but he coming in with the techniques already at hand. Nice. Thank you. Nope, no problem. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, man. No problem. No problem.